Hello, everyone. This is Sammy. Uh, I have a question about redox reactions. Uh, the student is asking which species is being reduced and which species is being oxidized in this reaction right here. So the reaction is 2C2H6 plus 7O2 yields 4CO2 plus 6H2O. So I rewrote the equation right here. And the first thing we need to find is the oxidation states for each of the uh, elements in the compounds here. So let's go ahead and start with the C2H6. We don't know what is the uh, oxidation state for the carbon, but we know we have two of those. So we have 2X plus, we have six hydrogens, so it's plus six times the oxidation state for the hydrogen is gonna be its charge, it's gonna be positive one, okay, because that's in group one. And because this is a neutral compound, it's gonna be equal to zero. So when we solve for X, we're gonna get negative three. So negative three will be the oxidation state for the carbon, and the positive one will be the oxidation state for the hydrogen in C2H6. For the O2, okay, which is the oxygen, it's a diatomic element, so it's gonna have an oxidation state of zero. For CO2, uh, we do not know what the oxidation state for carbon is, so we're gonna say it's X plus two, we have two oxygen, so we're gonna put two right there. We do know the oxygen state of oxygen, which is a negative two, because it's in group six, and uh, so put a negative two right there, and because CO is a neutral compound, it's gonna be equal to zero. If we solve for X, we're gonna get a positive four. So the C has a positive four oxidation number, and the O has a negative two uh, oxidation number in CO2. For the H2O, we don't know the oxidation number for hydrogen. Okay, we have two of those, so we'll say we have 2x plus, we have one oxygen, so plus one times the oxidation state of oxygen. Again, it's in group six, so it has a negative two charge. So negative two goes right there. This is a neutral compound, so it's gonna be equal to zero. We solve for x, x equals positive one. So the hydrogen has a positive one oxidation state and the oxygen has a negative two oxidation state in H2O. Okay, now the next step is we need to go ahead and make some comparisons. So we're going to compare the C here in the reactant side to the C here in the product side. C here in the reactant side is a negative 3. C here in the product side is a positive 4. So we see that there is an increase in oxidation state. So we have an increase in oxidation state. Uh, we know the oxidation is occurring, okay? We have oxidation. Oxidation means becoming more positive, losing electrons. Okay, <clears throat> and then for the uh, oxygen, okay, here on the reactant side, we have O, and then on the product side, we have <coughs> a, a negative two. So we're going from zero to negative two. So we are decreasing the oxidation state. So when we decrease the oxidation state, that's reduction, being reduced. So reduction is becoming more negative, gaining electrons, okay? So what's happening here is that the C2H6 is becoming oxidized, okay? And the O2 is becoming reduced, okay? Uh, you can remember this little nice um, saying, oil rig, oil is loss of electrons and reduction is gaining of electrons. Uh, the student also brought up uh, a case about the uh, hydrogen. Well, if you look at the hydrogen here, okay, it's a positive one on the right side, and going to the, the uh, product side, it's also a positive one. So there is no change in oxidation state. So I'm not sure why um, students saying that they're getting a hydrogen is decreasing in, um, uh, is decreasing in oxidation uh, state. Uh, it's actually not changing. So hopefully that clarifies everything and that is the answer. Have a good day.